So this one's got a couple, two, three more minutes on it than the others. Put some of this whipped cream and throw it on there for you. These raspberries. There you go. There you go. There's your waffle. Hi, welcome back to this YouTube channel and my eBay seller's account, GB Hatchery. Today is a product specific video. This is the new Auster Vertical Waffle Maker. And this is really nice because it's going to allow me to pour the batter right in the top and it's going to fill the cavity much like a mold and it's just going to be really awesome. So I'm going to open it right now. They have these others that you uh, pour it right directly on and then you can flip them and that was very helpful and then, uh, you, those are still available. Those are about $10 cheaper than this one. This is their new design. So I think this is outside of like a commercial waffle maker is still the flip design if you see somebody that has a bunch of them lined up commercially. It looks like it comes with this little cup. I think that's for pouring. And then inside we have a couple of pieces of styrofoam to remove, a bag. Get those out of there. And then here is the waffle maker and it's a stand-up design which is nice because it actually takes up a little bit less space. And once it uh, finishes, it just folds down like that. So as you can see, it fills the cavity, and this is all non-stick. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I was a little bit torn about which one to buy, but I just kind of happened on this one and this brand especially because I've had good luck with some of their other products. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. It looks like I just plugged it in. And it says power, and then the ready to cook is green, so it's not there yet. So, it's 11.04. Just turned 11.05, so we'll see how long this takes. Okay, so it took two minutes, only two minutes, and I have a green light now. You can see the light is green. It made kind of a loud contactor sound. It wasn't real loud, but you could hear it just kind of go click, and then the green light was on. So... Now I am 100% ready to cook waffles. Um, the only thing though I think I'm going to do is I'm going to season this a little bit. Make sure I can put that down. I'm just going to use some of this um, cooking spray I got. I like Meyer. I actually own a little bit of their stock. So I try to buy their Meyer brand stuff. That's actually way too much. That's a lot. But for the first go I think that's going to be alright. Ow! Okay so that top is hot. That is hot. Not hot enough to burn me just yet, but that was warm. So be careful with that. I would grab it here if at all. I actually would grab here only. Don't grab up here. So I have a ladle. I made this directly, exactly to the box. It's a little runnier than I'm normally used to. When I make waffles, I make it thicker than this. So this is actually, I don't know if you can see, but this is very runny batter. I mean, that's super runny. But that's to the T. Two cups plus a cup and a half and then uh, some oil, a third of a cup of oil. So now I'm going to go for it. And I think i got to go fast. I think it'll plug the hole after a while if I don't get it in there fast enough. Okay, so that's full. It's probably going to overflow some. But, you know, just like any other waffle maker, you'll learn to know how much to put in there. I think it's probably about uh, a ladle and a half. Maybe one good full ladle. That's probably why they included it. So I'd say I very much overfilled it. But that's all right. So I'm going to look at the time right now. And it's 11.10. Pretty easy to clean. That came right off. All right, there we are. It's 11.15. It's been five minutes. So a total of about seven or eight minutes from start to finish, from when you plug it in till you get a waffle. So I'm going to put this down because I, I feel like it might be a little bit of a um, mess possibly just due to me overfilling it, which I know is probably rather normal. Whoa. That's not good for YouTube. That's my fault. I did that.
So it actually looks pretty darn good. It's, it's actually crisp. I think once it cools down, it would be a very crisp waffle. Oh, this goes up. So I could even cook that in a little bit. The overflow did not work out. It was, you definitely just want to put one. I should have read the directions better. It probably says to just put one scoop in there. And I'm actually doing Auster a disservice, and I would like to apologize to them. But you know what? I'm a human, and this is what humans are going to do. They're going to um, buy it anyway because they need a really nice one, and this is pretty good, actually. I like this. I've seen the cheaper ones. I like garage sales and stuff, and uh, I've been tempted to get them, but this is more of a deeper waffle. You know, it's not – I don't know if you've seen the ones. They're just like a quarter-inch thick, and uh, I wanted something more like what I've been seeing on YouTube. If you see those street vendors, um, just – street vending waffles to people and they put like cream cheese on it or some kind of whip topping and it just looks so good and that's really inspired me to buy one of these honestly fill the oster scoop to the top with waffle batter and pour into the pouring funnel use a spatula to ensure all the batter from the scoop is poured into the unit the batter should come to the top of the circular housing users should be advised to use caution so I think you just get a feel for it after a while. But it's like that with the other makers as well. So I think six minutes, honestly, with this wet of a batter, the batter is wetter than I would have made it. Maybe a thinner batter would be good. But um, there is waffle number one. But as you can see, it's totally clean. There's nothing to clean on the waffle maker. So that's pretty inspiring actually and uh, I think you could just wipe that with a cloth so for f waffle number one that wasn't so bad but for anybody that stuck around this long is going to be able to see me do a waffle number two so you know it might be a little bit messy but what I originally planned on doing is pouring it in with this but then uh, I saw the scoop, and I'm thinking, like, yeah, we'll use a scoop. So I'm going to do one full scoop, and we're going to call that a measurement. It boils once it gets in there and just goes everywhere. You really don't have to worry about it. almost feel like I could just go just a little bit more. Hopefully I'm not wrong. So that seems to be the nature of it. One totally full scoop. You can see it starts to kind of flute out a little bit. I would go totally up to right about halfway, uh, make maybe a third or halfway up that flute. I don't know. It's starting to boil now and overfill a little bit. But yeah, totally up to about that flute. I would say fill to about right there, to the top of my finger, and you'll be good. All set. So that's nice because that takes the guesswork out of it, which would work with just about any machine. You don't really need it to be vertical if you have a good measurement. But I think the vertical is just nice in a lot of different regards. If you're making food on a Sunday morning, the one thing that's going to take up a lot of room is the waffle maker. So really you could have like a skillet out here. You're doing eggs and bacon and all kinds of stuff if that's what you like to eat or anything else. Maybe you have a vegan salad on the side and then you have some... Uh, some meatless meat and you're doing that and then you have this with strawberries so I still I overfilled it just a tad but it's actually not too bad but it seems to be the thing with these waffle makers is getting it just right here's the waffle it made it's still pretty warm but it's gotten a lot firmer since it came out 
And it's pretty tasty. I think maybe just a little bit less water in the batter. Just a hair. But you can use any batter. Some of them, they require that you uh, add eggs and oil and water. Other mixes, they are water only, and some are just water and oil. So, of course, as always, you're going to want to check that before going home. If you've never made waffles before, make sure you have all the ingredients to make the waffles because it's not just the mix. All right, so this one's got a couple, two, three more minutes on it than the others. You could probably go every bit of six minutes, maybe seven, if you like nice, well-done waffles. So if I was going to make you a waffle, I think I would just make a nice little one because I don't want you to ruin your diet. And just that much. They're actually soft when you get them out. They have to cool before they really get kind of hardened and crusty. And I think what I would do... Take some of this whipped cream and throw it on there for you. Almost make it like a strawberry shortcake, except with these raspberries. There you go. There you go. There's your waffle. Just for you. And if you want it, you'll have to go to the store and get some supplies and this Oster Vertical Waffle Maker. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're tight on your budgets, you can always free up some money by going to my eBay store, GB Hatchery, and basically get this Oster for free with the money you saved. So always remember to check my eBay store, GB Hatchery. I will also leave a link in the description to this Oster waffle maker, so it'll take you directly to a very good priced merchant with uh, good feedback, and you can buy directly from that person. And you will soon be eating your wonderful Belgian waffles. The whipped cream doesn't last long. You really got to get to it fast. But it's tasty. I'll have to try some Miracle Whip. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you'd like to, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.